The Italvis and Serrano will gain a convertible variant to cater to demand after the design house sold all five examples of the coupe it produced. The model has been revealed ahead of its Geneva reveal. Although the company remains tight-lipped on details, including the open roof model's name. All five slots for the Italvis and Serrano were sold to customers, but the brand has now shown a murky image of a drop-top version. Suggesting that it is bound to demand from customers to produce more examples of the supercar. The car makes up part of Italvisen's 50th anniversary celebrations. And will be on display at the Geneva Motor Show next month. Following the public debut of its first car, the Zerano Coupe, at the Geneva Motor Show. The brand brought chassis number 002 finished in red to the Pebble Beach Show in California last year. Italvisen also showed a Zerano at the Salon Pride event, which took place at Blenheim Palace in the summer. The V10 supercar is capable of over 200 miles per hour and has been launched by the famous Touring-based design house, which was founded by Giorgetto Di Giro in the late 1960s and now part of Volkswagen Group. It marks the first of several planned low-volumed models produced by the new Italvis and Automobili specially. Although not officially revealed, the entry-level price for Esserano is said to be more than £1.3 million, but it is tipped to cost close to £2 million after owners add their chosen extras. These include a wide variety of trim, the equipment and performance personalization options. The five customer cars were aimed at collectors and visionary enthusiasts. The brand said it still has several buyers after a car, so was previously exploring the possibility to build a roadster version. Having already opened dialogue with customers worldwide to truly materialize their wishes into it. Speaking to Autocar last year, Filippo Perini, Italdison's supercar project chief and head of innovation design, said of the first model for the first time. We can offer collectors the chance to order a true made-to-measure car. Perini added that, every year from 2017 on, the company will develop a new car bearing its own badge. Always in a very exclusive number of examples. The new supercar uses a 5.2-liter V10 petrol engine shared with the top-end versions of the Audi R8. It also adopts Audi's Quattro permanent four-wheel drive system. Top speed is estimated at 205 miles per hour, and the 0 to 62 miles per hour acceleration time will be just 3.2 sect. The company's engineers promise racing car performance with type approval. So the car can be used on normal roads. Sophisticated aerodynamics and lightweight construction are major themes in Italvisen's first supercar. The body features a prominent front splitter, loops over the wheel arches to relieve air pressure, side-mounted fins and a racing-style rear spoiler that works in conjunction with a large underbody diffuser to tune the car's high-speed aerodynamics. The body panels are made entirely of carbon fiber, and the car is expected to have a curb weight that will undercut Volkswagen Group's other V10 engine supercar models. The R8 and the Lamborghini Huracan, which weigh 1,595 kg and 1,575 kg respectively. The overall impression of the styling is of a modernized Lancia Stratos. Although Italvisen's supercar is more than a meter longer than that model, the Zerano is similar in footprint to the Lamborghini Aventador, at 4.87 meters in overall length. The relationship with Lamborghini is far from coincidental, given that it was Audi-owned Lamborghini that completed a purchase of Italvisen in 2015, after buying a 90% interest from the Gigiro family five years earlier. The Zerano's engineers revealed little about the provenance of their new car's underpinnings, confirming only that it uses a modular chassis in carbon fiber and aluminium. There's no suggestion that anyone but Italvisen created this car. Company insiders say it is the work of a 60-strong band of designers, engineers, technicians and composite experts. Brought together under Perini. 
This project is the result of almost 50 years' expertise in design, engineering, and construction of fully functional automobiles," said Perini. We are absolutely delighted to make our debut in this market. Salon Pride co-founder David Bagley said of the Cars UK review, It's an honor to be chosen as the location to host a Taldison's UK debut. Following the Zerano's official launch at the Geneva Motor Show, where we also saw the new painted Pirelli P0 tires, I'm delighted to welcome Italdison and its sublime supercar to Salon Pride this year. Dot from city cars to hypercars, Italdison's history. Italdison has designed many successful supercars in its 50 years. Think BMW M1, Lotus Esprit and Maserati and C12. For starters, However, its most spectacular achievements have been its seminal everyman cars, first among them the original Volkswagen Golf, the flat-screen Fiat Panda and the iconic Alfa Romeo Alphacid. This is probably because Tijiro, the company's co-founder and star designer for 40 years, had already designed plenty of sports and supercars by the time he decided, with Aldo Mantovani, to open his own studio. The Alfa Romeo GTV, De Tommaso Mangusta, Ferrari 250 GT Bertman Maserati's Quattroport, Marac, and Bora were among the dozens of cars he created. By the time Italvison was up and running, G. Gyro was working on concepts such as the Lancia Mechagano which pioneered MPVs even before the Renault Espis. At least a dozen production Fiats and half a dozen Alfa Romeos, plus myriad Daewoo's, Hyundai's, Seats, and Sanxiang's. He and Mantovani believed that, if an affordable car had to have a skin, it might as well have a good-looking one. Italdison was sold to Volkswagen Group in 2010, mostly because Tijiro, 72 at the time, wanted to retire. He finally left the company in 2015. But his haven of creativity at Moncalieri, just outside Turin, lives on, 